very, very little chipping there. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at some Diablo jigsaw blades. I picked these up at Home Depot and I think they're a pretty good deal. They're about 30 bucks for this set of 20. So we're gonna kind of take a look at each one and see how they cut some wood. We're gonna try and cut some steel with it and kind of see overall if they're, if they're worth the, the purchase. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and make sure you leave some comments down below because, you know, I love to talk to you guys. And if you know of better blades than this, I'd love to hear from you. All right, so let's get into it. Um, so this is 20 pieces. They also had another set that I think was 10, and it was a different price, obviously. Now they've got multiple different blades in here. So we've got the first one, which is a, a wood blade. Most of them are wood blades. And this is gonna be our finest blade right here. This one says that we get a clean cut top and bottom on the top and bottom stroke. So that's what this is. Then we've got some more wood blades. We've got a wood and nail embedded. Now, for me, I never really use a jigsaw for demolition. I'm typically using my Sawzalls or grinders or whatever, or a big hammer. But um, for me, I find I'm using a jigsaw mostly for finishing type work. So it would have been nice to have seen maybe some more, you know, nicer cut blades in here. I know these little guys, I like them a lot. Um, they just allow you to do a really tight turn, tight radius. Now they've got some big metal blades in here. So we're gonna take a look at those as well. And these ones, they have limits on them. Uh, 16th of an inch to an eighth for metal. The next one is an eighth to a quarter. And then this last one here is a 64th to 3 64th. So thin metal, thick metal, medium metal. And then the red ones are our sort of multi-purpose type blades. So let's take a closer look here. I'm just gonna open this right up. Maybe I can take this off. No, can't take it off. So they kind of give you a a little bit of a carrying case. It's it's not bad. They, they can kind of flop around in here a little bit. Um, but yeah, these general purpose blades, you can see they're pretty serious. Quite long. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to give them a try on, on some metal, I think. But I'm, I'm going to give the thick metal one right here a go on some quarter inch plate steel. Not sure how that's gonna work out. I typically would not use a jigsaw on this, but uh, you know, I'll give it a try. So the wood we're gonna be cutting is really, really hard. This is Moranti. Um, it's kind of like uh, Ipe wood. It's all in that same sort of category. So we're gonna start off with the top and bottom cut blade. Let's just take a quick look at that. I'm not gonna do a crazy amount of cutting because I do want to prolong the life of my blades. I actually do want to use these. So we'll just kind of get a rough idea how these go. All right. And oh, better put my ears in. All right, safety first. Okay, here we go. Oh. That uh, just popped right out of my jigsaw. I have had some issues with this jigsaw. So that was interesting. There we go. Sometimes it just doesn't want to click in. Happened again. Couldn't plan that guys. All right, let's switch jigsaws. Try it again, eh? Is that jigsaw any different? It's the same jigsaw. It's uh, just newer. I think this is my newer one. I can't even tell. They're both... Actually, this looks like my older one. This is my old one. All right. Let's see if it happens again. I don't know. All right. So let's take a look at the cut here. 
So very, very little chipping there. And the bottom, I can't really feel any on that as well. So that's a nice blade. Very, very little tear out. Just a tiny bit on the top. So that's a good blade. And they only give you one of those. And that one is, again, the top and bottom cut blade. Okay, now let's take a look at the reverse cut wood blade. Same thing, we're gonna stick this in. So that's a lot harder to cut. That is, would not be my go-to blade for sure. Just really hard trying to get through that wood. And that was the reverse, they call it. So now let's try the scroll cut. Now the scroll cuts, I've always liked this style of blade because they're very, very small. I just wish they were a little longer because sometimes they, the stroke, they jam up. I'll try and get it in the lowest position. It's about three quarters of an inch. So when you're cutting three quarter material, sometimes if you just lift off a little bit with your saw, it can bounce you back up. Okay, let's give this a go. All right. So very little if none zero tear out basically and we get a nice clean cut okay and the bottom does have a little bit of tear out but it cuts through this wood pretty nice and uh and you're able to do radiuses with it so that's that's the go-to blade for for doing a radius now we'll do a fast and clean wood blade. This thing looks super aggressive. I'm not sure how clean this is gonna be. Man, sometimes I have real problems with this. There we go. Okay. So definitely fast, by far the fastest, but major tear out. I would not classify that as clean, but that definitely gets it done the fastest. These blades are always hot after you use them, so there we go. Now we've got a fine finish wood blade. So let's give this one a go. So pretty fast and less tear out than the previous blade. Not bad, it's sandable, it's, it's doable. So that's, that's a pretty good blade. That's the fine finish wood blade. Now we'll try the general purpose. All right, super aggressive, fast, and really, really gnarly cut. That is all just tear out and just nastiness. So don't use that if you're gonna do any kind of fine cutting at all. And then we're into the metal blades. So where's that thick metal? Right here. I'm gonna switch this piece of wood out. And we're gonna put a piece of metal up here. So 
So this is pretty thick. Like I said, I, I would not normally use a saw like this. There we go, thick metal. All right, let's see how it does. not bad I can't I was trying to turn it a little bit and you definitely can't put any kind of radius on this but you can see it does cut so not bad now that's piping hot if you Maybe use some cutting oil. It might make this a little bit easier. I'm not going to use cutting oil because I don't want it all over my jigsaw. I typically use these saws for woodwork, so I, I really don't want oil splattered all over the place. But you probably could prolong the life of the blade because, you know, it was slowing down there right away. And, uh, yeah, you, you can cut steel with it. This is quarter inch plate and it's, you know, it's thicker than what they're recommending, but um, it's getting it done. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with the purchase. You know, like I said, it was like 30 bucks for, for all these different blades, comes in a nice little case and uh, you, you get some good blades out of it. So super, super happy with the purchase. I've, I really haven't bought jigsaw blades for a long time. I've been using these DeWalt blades that I bought 10 years ago and I just haven't gone through them yet. But I saw this and I thought I should pick this up and, and give it a whirl. So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, just so you know, we got some merch down below. Check it out. There's some sweatshirts and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. So got to keep on crushing it on them. So check that out. And uh, if I can find a link for this, I'll leave it in the uh, section down below the video as well. So as always guys, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.